Welcome guys to the new review. My name is still the same. I'm Isidor, your host on this channel. And today we have... If you don't know what this is, you should leave this channel immediately. Only better known, better known car from this is a Golf Mark II. And it uh, is a predecessor of this car. And so this is a Golf Mark IV and this is a... I know, I know, don't be so upset, I know it's Golf Mark V, don't, I'm just kidding. This is the leader of this hatchback segment and most people call this segment a Golf class. Golf is leader in this segment, so basically uh, everybody else tried to copy the Volkswagen and make a Golf of their own. So today I'm going to show you around this car, how it looks, how it drives and show you how this car looks in all different angles. This car is 2006, uh, the Mark V was produced from 2004 to 2008. It's a short period of time but it's, it was a very successful uh, model of the car. Uh, the main competitors of this uh, model was uh, Peugeot 307 Ford Focus Mark II and Renault Megane and you know all the other hatchbacks. Let's see why is this car so much popular and what is that that makes it a Golf a Golf. Let's look around and let's see let's, uh, what is car like from outside. First I need to say that I really like this color. It's specific and I didn't see too much golfs in this uh, color. This is a goal equipment package and it's a, a little bit more uh, unique. Uh, first from the uh, in the front we can see that the car is just looks normal. It is it belongs that period of 2004 to 2008. It isn't futuristic or it isn't uh, old. It's just where it belongs. Uh, I like the details in the headlights because they are uh, implementing their logo in the headlights. And that's nice attention to detail. Uh, hand light composition, there is a hazard light. So it looks, it's everything implemented in one, in this one segment and it looks great. Down there we have a fog light. On the side there is nothing special, we have implemented hazard lights in the door mirrors and uh, this is a three door version and it has a nice long doors so it is easy to get in the back and they are just mm, huge and massive and you basically uh, always go on the front seats from here but it makes even that a little bit easier. In the back besides tail lights and parking sensors we have a logo that opens the trunk and we'll get to the trunk in just a second. I just want to say that all these edges are curvy and it's it reminds me of some kind of softness and everything is just like a, some teddy bear. And now about the engine and engine area. In this engine area everything is covered in plastics and everything looks so clean. So it's a pleasure to see this, this engine bay. Uh, this car has a 1.4 liter petrol engine that is uh, with 75 horsepower. This is the smallest engine all of, all from all of the engines available for this car. You can get uh, this from this engine all the way from to 3.2 liter v6 that produces about 250 horsepower in r32 version of this car so if you have r32 go 5 contact me i would really like to try the v6 in this car and uh, most popular engine most popular engine in this car is 1.9 and uh, 1.9 diesel and 2.0 diesel the trunk where is very clean uh, basically we don't have anything here it's decent size so you have basically everything you need and it is it is more than enough for daily 
uses. Under this, under the floor, there is a spare tire that I can't reach because of this massive subwoofer. Again, like in Passat B8, I really like this cover, this small plastic cover that covers this hinge here, and it makes it just, you know. You feel special when you see these plastics and when you don't see the hole around here. A couple of moments ago I said that these doors are huge and let's see what we have on them. We have actually only four or five buttons on them. Uh, the button to open the fuel door, window controls, uh, controls for the mirrors with implemented heater inside and the buttons to lock the passenger door. And uh, you, with this button you can lock the passenger doors, but only for one attempt. In second attempt that door will open and you can't uh, stop your girlfriend from running away. And now take a look of this interior. In this curtain package we have this nice uh, orange combination with grey seats and orange stitching all over the car that looks just awesome. Even there on the floor mats we have orange uh, edges and everywhere just this orange uh, stitching it looks just just special you like in sports car and this pattern on the seat makes them look sporty and more premium premium feel glove box is finished in nice in some nice soft material and it's it's pleasure to to feel it and we have uh, there also a cooling system from ac and so your chocolates won't uh, melt away in here and that's also nice attention to detail here we have basic ac controls and climate controls he seat heaters and uh, stock radio system with cd player here we have the windshield wiper controls cruise control lights and that's basically it this is a very basic car we can turn the esp off and look at this gear lever and how good this looks, this stitching on the leather, it, it's just, I really, really like this gold package of equipment, everything is, is just so good. We have a couple of decent storage areas, huge cup holder here, some storage here, two smaller cup holders and also small uh, storage here with a 12 watt socket and a lighter there and some storage over here it's just great in order to get in the back of this car you pull this latch here and move the seat up but it doesn't uh, open the lock here so you need separately to move the this part and then to get in the car when you pull the seat there it stops here and you want you can't move it just back you need to unlatch it so here there is a ton of space but when you move this seat back that is very hard to do from the back There is still decent space here. Uh, it it isn't bad for four people. It's okay. So guys, let's see how this baby drives. My first impression is uh, really good. It is stable. It it sits on the road. It has some power. So we'll see. Oh, oh! For 75 horsepower engine, this is this is great. It starts like a fire. It is, it just explodes. It goes. Come on, baby! I, I need to say that it's a little bit too noisy for for my taste. There is a 
some some weird feeling when I accelerate I see the uh, when the instrument clusters instrument cluster that it accelerates but you can't feel that it's so gentle and nice and so let's see here the second gear already at 60 miles per hour it has some standard acceleration for these kind of cars this horsepower is enough for uh, for this car the cruise control works perfect it consumes about five liters of petrol per hundred kilometers and that's that's great this is pleasure to drive I'm so satisfied with this car and it's end of the test drive I need to stop and I'm, I'm, I'm very very pleased with this car